Now it comes time to install mempool.space onto our node box. Um, the reason that you would do this is to have this graphical interface, uh, but instead of querying mempool.space servers, you can uh, connect to your own Bitcoin node and get the information out of there. So head on over to github.com slash mempool uh, slash mempool and scroll on over to uh, the Docker section here. Now we're going to need to install Docker. Um, so let's uh, just have a look at that. So Ubuntu Docker installation and it is this here. Um, and so let's install Docker. Um, so it's, we'll just copy all of this through into our node box. And copy this, paste that in like so. And copy this and paste that in. Copy this and paste that in. And copy this and paste that in. And copy all of this and paste that in. And sudo apt get update. Now we want to install Docker. So let's copy this and paste that in like so. And yes. Okay, so now that that's been installed, um, we also want to make sure that Docker can run as our user profile. So if I look at Docker PS now, I'm getting access denied um, error messages. So let's go down to post installation steps for Linux. And we will just copy this and paste that through like so. So this will add in our user and then we can exit that and log back into Satoshi Notebox. And now when we type Docker PS, we actually get um, all of our Dockers. Uh, I have none installed at the moment, but all of our Docker containers will be there. Okay, now that Docker has been installed successfully, uh, it's time to install mempool.space via Docker. So the first thing that we need to do is clone this repository. So I'm just gonna click on this here and I'm gonna go glit git clone and then paste that in there. And when we list that out, I've now got a mempool folder. So I'm gonna CD into mempool and then I'm gonna CD into Docker. And so now we have this Docker compose file. I'm gonna edit that. So docker compose.yml, nano it. Um, and so I'm going to put change this um, on failure, restart always. And the ports that I'm gonna use is 40, 80 instead of uh, 80. Now, the mempool backend that I'm going to be using, I'm going to put in Electrum. And the way that you can um, get that information is if you see down here in the Docker installation, um, if you're using it with an Electrum server, the backend needs to be Electrum. And we also need to put these um, lines in as well. So I'm going to, after the core, um, I'm going to put that in like so. Now, um, in terms of the RPC host, uh, if you look at IPA, your Docker zero, it should be, um, it, it, it's for me, it's 172.17.0.1. So I'm gonna change this to 17.0.1 and this one here also to 17.0.1. Now my password is actually, uh, Username and password is Bitcoin Bitcoin, which we established in the Bitcoin Core video earlier in the series. And the Electrum port is 5001. Um, and yeah, we'll leave all of these configuration details. Restart, we'll put it as always. And we'll leave these all fine. And then we'll change this one restart to always as well. And I'll also put in, uh, this here and i'll put this in the video description but basically what this does is when we come to install the dojo um, there might be com some conflicts so to avoid those conflicts i'm putting these in here so that's why i am putting um, this additional piece which i'll put i'll leave in the description below so control x y and enter 
And now we need to run this. So docker compose up D like so. And that should go away and download. Uh, and then when you hit docker PS, um, you can see uh, that this is now all up and running. And if you go to, uh, instead of mempool.space, um, if you instead go to nodebox.local colon uh, 4080, you have your own instance of mempool.space. And so that's gonna take a little bit of time to sort of just, um, you know, marry up and, 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 and fly through. Um, and yeah, you'll be able to see um, a little bit more of this um, as time progresses. Um, so just leave this on and you'll get a nice fully fledged sort of um, instance of mempool.space. Okay, so now you can see that it has been populated a little bit more um, and you'll be able to access transaction IDs, um, but also you'll be able to access um, uh, Bitcoin addresses as well. You can also explore um, addresses and transaction IDs in here and you can search for them as well. So instead of querying somebody else's Bitcoin node, you're querying your own Bitcoin node. And that is the beauty of mempool.space. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com.au and click on the support button. If you'd like to have one-on-one -on -one consulting, click on the consulting button and book a session on the calendar widget. And if you'd like to purchase a Bitcoin node, head on over to the shop and purchase one from shop.ministryofnodes.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.